Well, we got Kim Winter. We haven't seen him for yonks. Where the hell have you been, Kim? Where have you been, buddy? What are you up? Looking after <laughs> Father Christmas up in uh, North Pole, or where have you been? <laughs> hey, kia ora, Max. Kia ora. Uh, thank you. Yeah, look, uh, well, as you know, I've been in been in Europe. I uh, was in uh, based in London for conferences in Birmingham, which is Commonwealth Games. We'll talk about that next week. We've got a whole lot of fun facts about the Kiwi team for Birmingham. Commonwealth Games coming up, just in case people didn't know. Um, I was in Paris uh, for lunch, came back, and then I was at conferences in Rotterdam, went back over to you, Rotterdam. You popped into Paris for Christmas, uh, for, for lunch, for goodness just sake. Just for lunch, yeah. Jumped on the Eurostar, came back, <laughs> Kiwi Ingenuity, number eight fencing wire over and back. <laughs> so it's good. And, and Matt, a lot coming up. I'm going to be in so many different places in the next couple of months. We're going to be coming to some pretty exotic joints, I'm telling you. Where are you now? Because it looks like an airport behind you. Yeah, no, this is our toy collection. So here I am in our renovated Dubai office. And, uh, yeah, here's our thing here. A couple of our people here. Uh, guys, there we go. Oops, there's a man with a rugby ball from the Philippines. Oh, well, look at them <laughs> yeah. all. Hello. There's, and there's our representative. Oh, well. she's a representative <laughs> player. That's Andrea. She's a national player for the uh, Jamaican rugby team. So well, you can tell that she's corner. got good aiming, plus uh, she's flying yeah. missiles already. <laughs> <laughs> look at them all. There you go. So that's part of our crew here in Dubai. I'll be touring around our other four or five biggest offices around the world in the next couple of months, reno renovating them as well. But yeah, busy, busy back here in Dubai. And, um, of course, summer holidays in the Northern Hemisphere, only half the amount of traffic on the roads here in the United Arab Emirates, which is fantastic. You go twice the speed. Um, but, you know, lots going on in the logistics world, which I live in. Uh, huge capacity issues still. E-commerce is driving massive de uh, global development and global trade. So, yeah, we're very busy, huge on the recruitment side and the consulting side as well, Max. Wow, you are going well. Yeah, there's a lot what? going on, but hey, let's talk about New Zealand. What's, I see, uh, you know, the farmers are on strike or there's a freedom march going on. I thought we were all free in New Zealand. What's the freedom march? <laughs> oh, no, look, uh, there's a lot of people very, 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 very unhappy with our government right now. And, of course, it all comes from the COVID days, the lockdown days. But there's a lot of legislation uh, being thrown at us as well. Um, this government, uh, and I don't want to make this into a political show, but certainly it's um, it's it's certainly not been taken very well. Um, we're not up for an election till the next probably October, not this October, next October. And yep. uh, the looks, all indications are we could be changing government at that stage because people are very very unhappy. The cost well, of living is going up. It's like most parts of the world, um, except <laughs> where you are. But uh, the, the inflation, everything else, it's starting to hurt here really bad. Yeah. No, it's global, Max. For all seriousness, it's global. Talk about change of government. Um, since I left the UK, they got rid of Boris. Uh, of course, they've changed the government in Australia as well. So, yeah, I mean, the the period of the last couple of years, the pandemic, what have you, certainly... Oh, I think internationally there's a pr lot of problems with our democracy system and people aren't very, very happy. And, of course, with inflation, it's a worldwide phenomenon, but so I've got to say New Zealand's ahead of most um, and, and the growth in that department, and that's where we're very unhappy because there's been a very reckless sort of spending from our government, uh, and that's, of course, a whole lot of problems. So, yep. Kim, yeah, that's New Zealand wrapped up. Very cheerful okay. thought. Yeah, good. Well, lots going on. Just say summer holidays in the northern hemisphere, but things are th things are hotting up. Obviously, lots of fires burning and record temperatures. I got out of the UK just before the very hottest day. I was there for the shortest day, hottest day of ever in the UK. So, uh, welcome to climate change, folks. Anybody who didn't think it was real, think again. Agreed. I mean, it's freezing cold and very, very wet down here at the moment. Uh, and yep. we've um, just got a bit of a reprieve today. But by goodness, it just hasn't stopped raining and there's floods and all sorts of things happening in New Zealand. So we're the dead opposite and it's cold. But So uh, we're hoping, we're looking forward to summer, but I'm told we could be getting a taste of what Britain's been through. Keep that beautiful grass growing, keep the water in there. It's a, it's a great country. Uh, lots of lots of Emiratis always very keen to travel so now. why don't you live here, Kim? You need to get back home. <laughs> I really like the, the, the temperature range between 40 and 50, and it's been up to 50 recently here. So uh, just coming out of the middle of the summer now. So, uh, yeah, I'll, well, watch this space because I've been invited to attend a conference in New Zealand, uh, and uh, I've told them, yeah, 
pay for the flight from Australia and I'll come over. So we'll see what's happening. Ah, uh, up, yeah, great to up, catch up. We can do one of these sessions in, in person. That would be really good. Yeah, looking forward to it, Max. We'll talk to you next week. Got lots more news for you. All right, brother. Thanks very much for uh, connecting and uh, good to catch up again. See you next Thanks, week. Max. Ken.